be happy to answer any questions that I can, guys. How you doing today? Uh, uh, Grudinski, Grudowski? I don't think so. You uh, said you were expecting a couple guys to be out here today. You just pointed that those guys weren't able to make it here. Who, who, who are you talking about? You said that uh, Gabe Jackson, you were hoping to be back. Yeah, I was hoping so. They're close. They'll be back hopefully tomorrow. Maybe we could get us some action against the Lions. What's it like conducting a practice with only four safeties? How does that affect the team? That's tough. It's very tough. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's In some ways, it, it helps somebody else. Um, you know, it gets some opportunities, and, and their versatility is, is what we're looking for with the third, fourth, and fifth safety. So it happens during the season, and uh, unfortunately for us, it's happened in training camp a little too soon. You haven't had a chance to look at the film, but like, what were you hoping to see from OB today? Because he was able to work with the ones, and what, if anything, without looking at the film? I got to look at the film first, you know. I, I, we got a lot of communication, a lot of pre-snap communication. He's got to recognize formations. He's got to you know, help talk to the other DBs, make sure everybody's on the same page. And he's got to go out and execute, make some plays. So um, we're happy to see him healthy, number one, and to be out there getting a lot of reps, number two. And the evaluation process is going to be pretty intense when we go inside. Well, we're uh, Joseph and Gilchrist now with you. Who's that? Joseph and Gilchrist. Joseph has a slight groin. Gilchrist has just a sore foot. We hope to have those guys back tomorrow uh, against the Lions. Jordan Simmons. He's a guy who, because of injuries, didn't play much ball at USC. He comes here, he spends a year in practice while learning behind the guys he's learned behind. What have you seen in terms of strides from him, and where is he today? Yeah, we're pleased with him. He uh, He's lost a lot of weight. He's, he's a mentally tough, physically tough guy. He's had a tough career with injuries, and it's a credit to him. He keeps, keeps going, coming back, and um, he's become a very uh, legitimate contender at the guard position. And while Gabe has been out, he and Feliciano have done a, a very nice job for us. Sounded like there were a few, you got a little bit frustrated with a few of the false starts there in the team session. What, what did you just think of the overall crispness of the practice? Well, I thought we, uh, I thought we got to do a lot better job personally. I wasn't happy with that. I think the defense jumped off sides twice. Pre-snap pre penalties make me sick. They really do. Uh, and I'm sick now. I don't feel like eating. Is it a bigger picture question? What goes into scripting a practice? I know you have a bunch of practice here in training camp. You're trying to build towards something. What goes into scripting an individual day? Well, you have no idea. It takes longer to make the script than it does uh, to really evaluate practice sometimes because you want to get the right guys against the right guys. You want to practice the right situations. And sometimes two defensive backs walk in and are injured, and you have to adjust on the fly. So uh, you just don't want to come out here and run plays. You know, we ran some tight red zone plays today. We ran some backed up plays today. We, uh, we, we handled a lot of different situations, and some were good, some were not very good. To that, uh, as a follow up, tomorrow and the following day, how do you script with another team to make sure you're both getting what you want to get out of those days? Well, Matt, Patricia, and I have talked, and we'll talk again tonight. And we'll meet uh, them, their coordinators tonight, and we'll just make sure we're all on the same page. There's an etiquette and a professionalism that we want to have, number one. Uh, we don't want a bunch of screaming and yelling and brawling out here. We want to have good, solid, fundamental football, teaching moments, see a different opponent, block some different looks, and get better. And that's, that's the number one thing. You will see uh, similar periods. You'll see the two-minute drill. Uh, you'll see some third down work. You'll see move the ball, working on substitutions. You'll see some live goal line. It'll be exciting. Uh, but hopefully our players, I know they will, will maintain uh, good professionalism and, and get something out of it. Is it fair to say that this camp's kind of uh, wrapping up towards the next two days? Kind of? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, we had a really good padded uh, sessions last week. I think we have four in a row that were really good. Uh, the players are coming off their day off. We get their minds back in it. We'll look at the Lions a little bit this evening, and uh, they'll be rolling in here tomorrow morning. It'll be fun. Anything more about the position? I think he's done. He's, he's had some really good practices here. He's, he's flashed uh, at times. He's, he showed some penetration and quickness, and you know it's a very competitive situation now with Maurice Hurst and P.J. Hall back. But um, we're happy to have Mario out here healthy and, and, and rolling here again. What do you anticipate out of that session? We hope to get out of it, and what are your thoughts about that rule? Hopefully, we get some clarity out of it. You know, making sure everybody's on the same page, and 
I know we've been emphasizing exactly what they've been talking about since day one. We don't want any, um, we don't want any lowering of the head and, and malicious types of hits. And we'll get some clarification. Obviously, we need it. Got to get everybody on the same page and understand the rules. Well, we love Key. We, we've liked Key uh, since the draft process. We, 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 were, we felt lucky to get him where we got him. You go back two years ago and watch him at LSU, he's, he's as good an edge rusher as there is in the country. He struggled a little bit his last season in Baton Rouge, but Chuck Smith, who is his private coach in the offseason, sent us a lot of videos and kept us up to speed. And there's some things this kid can do that is uh, very special. And uh, Hopefully we get it full strength someday at the defensive end position and we can show our true colors. Jason Gabinda, undrafted rookie, how's he factoring into the mix to be a linebacker or special teams? Well, he's right in the mix. You know, I mean, Derek Johnson and Markel Lee are the one and two on a depth chart. Gabinda is what we thought he was. He's a complete middle linebacker. He can make all the calls. He's instinctive and tough. He plays physical and um, special teams will have a big part of it. I'm anxious to see all these guys in the preseason. You know, this is uh, not the time where you go out there and, and play Derek Carr in the number one group for a first half in the first preseason game. This is a great opportunity for a lot of guys that have put forth a lot of effort, and um, this is their time to showcase it. They got a couple days to, to really prepare themselves against Detroit and go out there and, and hopefully put some good things on tape, uh, not only for us, but for their futures. DeAndre Washington, actually. What's that? DeAndre Washington. He left uh, camp for personal reasons, and uh, we hope to have him back within the next day or so. Anybody other than Michael? Can you say hello to Can you say hello to guys from Germany? Sure. Well, how do you say that? Do it in English. It's like to say hello to all our fans in Germany. Go Raiders! All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good one, fellas. Hello.